Let's start with a look at the device's basic controls, how to use the ready for use indicator, battery operation, and how to perform operational checks. The XL Plus controls and connections are carefully organized to facilitate ease of use. Color-coded ports for monitoring cable connections are on the left, ECG, SPO2, non-invasive blood pressure, and CO2 sensor cables plug in here. The HeartStart XL Plus comes with cable wraps to assist in cable management. A therapy port for paddles or multifunction electrode pads is on the other side. Operating controls and indicators are on the front. This is the Ready for Use indicator. The flashing hourglass tells you that the device passed its last self-test and is ready to go with sufficient battery power for defibrillation, pacing, and ECG functions. The therapy knob is the on-off switch. Just turn it to the desired mode of operation. The information on the color display is customized for each mode and its layout may vary depending on your device's installed options. In monitor mode, the display includes three wave sectors and a parameter block with related measurements. In manual mode, the screen displays an enlarged ECG waveform and event timer. The XL Plus is configured to populate each wave sector with a predetermined waveform. Wave sector 1 will only contain an ECG waveform, which is used by the arrhythmia, heart rate derivation, and AED analysis algorithms. If the configured source is not connected to the device when turned on, the first valid ECG source is displayed in Wave Sector 1. Wave Sectors 2 and 3 are automatically populated when parameter cables are connected. If you connect a parameter source that's not configured to be displayed, it appears in the first empty Wave Sector. All modes display general status information including patient category, date and time, and the battery power indicator. All modes, except pacing mode, display paced status if selected. Technical alarms indicating an equipment problem appear here. Physiological alarm messages appear next to the parameter they are associated with. The XL Plus also displays an event timer, which shows the elapsed time since turning on the device. Press the Mark Event button to insert a time-stamped annotation on the ECG strip and in the event summary report to document medication administration or a procedure. The Lead Select button changes the ECG lead in Wave Sector 1, cycling through the available ECG waves and changing the displayed wave and its label. These controls are used for automated or manual defibrillation and synchronized cardioversion. This is the Alarms button. It pauses all audible physiological and technical alarms for a configured time interval. Press it again during the pause interval to return alarms to their previous settings. Press this button to activate the Reports menu where you can print either an event summary or trends report. Press the Print button for a continuous printout of the primary ECG and a second wave with event annotations and measurements. To load a new roll of printer paper, open the printer door by pushing on the latch. Remove the empty paper roll by pulling up on it. Place a new roll of printer paper into the paper well, positioning the roll so that the paper is on the bottom and the grid faces up. Pull the end of the paper out past the paper roll and close the printer door. Below the display, there are four soft key buttons that perform the function listed on the soft key label immediately above. The button labels change according to the function you are performing. Press the Menu Select button and a menu appears to provide access to additional functions. Press the Up or Down navigation buttons to scroll through the available choices until the desired selection is highlighted. Press the Menu Select button again to confirm the highlighted selection. The top of the HeartStart XL Plus consists of a handle and the optional external paddles. The XL Plus paddle set can be used on adult, child, and infant patients. Both paddles have orange shock buttons that flash when the defibrillator is charged and the sternum paddle has a patient contact indicator light that lights green once proper skin contact is made. 
The USB data port allows you to save data for transferring patient information or to import configurations and new software revisions. The XL Plus is powered by a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. The compartment on the back of the XL Plus houses the battery. To install the battery, align the lithium-ion battery in the battery compartment with the arrow on the battery tab pointing up. Insert the battery until you hear it click into place. Here is the AC power connection. Connect AC power to charge the battery. Once connected, this indicator lights to tell you the battery is charging. This screen icon indicates the presence of a battery. As the battery drains, the icon displays incremental charge levels. An X in the icon indicates no battery. To assess operational performance and alert you if a problem exists, the XL Plus routinely performs automatic self-tests. The results of the tests are reported through the Ready for Use indicator and messages when you turn the device on. The blinking black hourglass symbols indicates the shock, pacing, and ECG functions of the device are ready for use and sufficient battery power is available for device operation. A blinking red X and a periodic audio chirp indicate either a low battery condition or no battery is installed and the device is running on AC power. The device can be used, but its operation time is limited. If a battery is inserted in charging, the audio chirp is not present. A solid red X and a periodic audio chirp indicate a failure has been detected that may prevent the delivery of defibrillation therapy, pacing, or ECG acquisition. A solid red X without periodic audio chirps indicates either there is no power available or the device cannot power on. If, after power is supplied, the indicator reverts to the blinking black hourglass symbol, the device is once again ready for use. To supplement these automatic tests, you should perform shift checks and weekly shock tests or operational checks on the device. The American Heart Association recommends completing a shift check at the beginning of each change in personnel to help ensure that defibrillators are ready when needed. Philips provides a checklist to complete a shift check on the XL Plus, including the ready for use indicator and related accessories and supplies. You must make sure that the XL Plus is not connected to a patient when performing an operational check. To perform the operational check, turn the therapy knob to Monitor. Then press the Menu Select button. Using the navigation buttons, select Other. Operational Check. Run Op Check. And press Menu Select. This message lets you know that you are exiting from all clinical functionality and entering a test mode. Select Yes to leave clinical mode. Then press the Menu Select button to start the check. Be sure to connect all cables and accessories, as instructed on the display, prior to running the operational check. You will be prompted to set the therapy knob to 170 joules and then 150 joules. If everything is set up as expected, the series of tests will begin with a few interactions along the way. If not, you will be prompted to correct the setup, proceed with a test based on the current setup, or exit op check. As each test is run, the message window in progress displays. When prompted, follow the on-screen instructions. You are given a pass or fail indication upon completion of each test. When the op check is done, a report is printed automatically if configured. The first part of the report lists test results. The second part lists additional checks you should do to make sure that you have the necessary supplies and accessories and they are all in good working order. For details about these additional checks, consult the instructions for use.